Hello, welcome to another episode of the Giving Bartender Home Edition. My name is Christos. Today we're gonna make a London Mule. Let's go. So to make the London Mule is very simple, uh, but there's also a lot of history behind it. So if you wanna jump directly uh, to the cocktail making, I will have a time tag in the description so you can jump straight to it. Otherwise, you can stay and geek out with me for about four or five minutes. Gin and ginger go back a long time. We have the records from 1750, when the River Thames would freeze over, there would be the Frost Fest, where vendors would go and set up soap on the frozen uh, riverbed, and they would sell gingerbread and hot gin to, to the Londoners. Uh, this practice became so famous and so profitable that uh, it became a thing in the 1730s to find these products sold in the streets of London. Uh, fast forward to the middle 1800s when ginger beer became uh, a remedy for the stomach or a digestive, if you may. And then it wasn't long before uh, somebody would just add a shot of booze in there. So the buck was born. Uh, the buck is a wordplay on the drink horse's neck, which traditionally was uh, an alcohol free drink. So adding a kick to it would be the buck. And this, uh, this is the evolution where we have after that the mules and everything. Uh, so today we're gonna make the, most, the, the London mule, which is a variation of the Moscow mule. The earliest uh, recipe I have found is uh, surprisingly from uh, the motorboating magazine in 1942 uh, from a bartender named Much that he was making uh, in the Lusitania and the, the Queen Mary ship. The drink was called Queen Mary and it was simple. It was gin, lime uh, and ginger beer. So today we're gonna make it into a tumbler. I prefer to, to use this uh, copper mug for the more uh, historically accurate, if you may, um, Moscow meal. So we're gonna put this on the side and we're gonna go with this. Uh, okay, first things first, we're gonna ice our drink. We need half a lime or 15 ml of lime juice. And we're gonna use 50 ml of the seventh sense uh, gin because it goes perfectly with the, with the drink. Uh, it has tonka notes, lemongrass, and uh, and ginger. So these green notes would amplify our drink. So for ginger beer, we're gonna use uh, another local product, Swiss Mountain. I like this product because uh, it does balance uh, the sweet and spicy really well, and it will go with uh, with our mix here. Uh, you want to use one to three about, so for 50 ml of gin, you're going to use about 150 ml of, uh, of ginger beer. And we're going to garnish with a nice lime wheel. And there you have it. That's the, the London Mule, so let's give it a shot. So it is the perfect combination between sweet, sour and spicy and it has a nice kick, that's exactly what you need for this drink. So yeah, that's it, uh, so there you have it, the London Mule, uh, if you like the video please subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, cheers. Do 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 do